for this whole month I spend six thousand thirty seven dollars and thirty eight cents on this card. <laughs> welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you are new here um today i just want to stop in and give you guys a little update video because i've been mia missing in action for a little bit um this whole week i have been going off the deep end malfunctioning because a lot of things happen one of the things that happen is that um tuesday gone which is holy tuesday the day before good friday i was in a little accident with my vehicle and my car stopped working it shut down on me when i trying to um turn the keys in the ignition it would not start for nothing i called a mechanic the mechanic came and they checked out the vehicle they told me that um i need a camshaft sensor so i changed my camshaft sensor then the told me i need a new crankshaft sensor so i changed the crankshaft sensor the car was still not starting the guy told me that um I needed to uh, is the throttle body of the car, so he serviced it. He cleaned the injectors, changed the spark plugs. Still nothing, nothing. I don't know, like nothing. Just was not working. No matter what I do, it would he do or they try, it was just not working. They say that um he went into the fuel to see if the car was getting proper fuel and when they try to change the um fuel pump they realize the fuel pump in the tank of itself because the car is a four wheel drive so they had to remove the back seat go in the tank take out the fuel pump take out the fuel filter the gas that came out of the fuel filter it was really dirty so we change the fuel filter, put in a new one. I change my fuel pump, put in a new one. Caster was not starting. I get the electrician to come. The electrician changed some kind of relay from inside of the car. Because he say he think that is the problem. Still not starting. And then I went now and i get another mechanic this is my ex-husband's uncle who is a mechanic he works at a garage and he told me he said they think it's the brain of the car so i change the brain of the car when you put in the key you get in the car cranking but it's not starting so he come and he tell me he say he had bad news to me this was sunday so this was easter sunday he told me that um I would need a new head and block i done frustrated because school opening back on tuesday i done looking forward to my car to drop my children to school and everything and i didn't make no other arrangements with school buses or nothing because i done telling myself well look i go in and get the car to drop my children to school so i didn't make other arrangements them to get to school so the fact that the car break down it just had me in a state and when he to come and call me come about minutes to eight seven between seven and eight in the night and tell me that i need a new head and block i don't spend for this whole month i spend six thousand thirty seven dollars and 38 cents on this car so when he tell me i need a new head and block it was just like Phew, stress the stress that just reach up in my brain i said look the first thing i wanted to do i started looking for a new head and block 
and you, when I price it out, it's about 3,000 and it's one new head and block. And I was going to buy it, but then something just tell me, you know, calm down. Because sometimes when things happen, we want to fix it right away. We want to get things done. We want to get things working. And you just want to, you just want to move forward with me. I just, just want to fix and move forward. So sometimes I just cool down. And I decided to calm myself a little bit, think about it, think about what I'm doing. The car was down the road by my ex mother law And I just say, look, let me calm down. Don't let me spend no more money. Don't let me be hot and sweaty. Just let me calm down and think. So the Monday, I had to, um, which was Easter Monday, I just take the day lightly. And I tell you, I was in a state of confusion. I was just, like, I didn't know what to do again. I spent the whole day vexed and frustrated. I spent the whole day just, you know, telling God, well, look, you come, you give me this car, you give me this blessing. And then now the car shut down and I get all these problems with the car. Why me? Why this? Why the other? Why the next? Excuse the dogs barking, not the dogs in my neighborhood, I can't do nothing but the dogs barking, but um, yeah, I just was in a state Monday, and I think Monday evening when I come home, I have a habit of putting my phone or the TV on YouTube, on Pastor T.G. Jakes, and he usually will, um, I normally listen to whatever new video they post and thing. So I was listening to this video that he posts where he said, God is, um, the devil is not after you, he is after your territory. I heard it in passing because I'm busy and doing what I have to do. So when I hear the words, the devil is not after you, he's after your territory. It's like something click, some click in my brain a kind of way so it's like see me here praying and asking god to, in, to bless me bless the work of my hands bless everything connected to me enlarging my territory and then i just get this word you know sometimes you get a word and the word is just sink down in your spirit the devil after my territory so i just like i listen to it and like certain things are clicking inside of me where I realized, okay, so God gave me this car as a blessing. I see it as a blessing. It is a blessing. And then it, it, it broke down here now. It's not due to a fault of mine or anything. It's somebody pick up the car and get themselves into a little accident with it. And it ended up breaking down and it not fixing. So I said, the devil use whoever, this person, to kind of put me in stress a kind of way. So I said, look, the devil busy. And I don't know, I just started talking to God. And it was just like a normal talking to God until it become like, I started to catch the Holy Spirit and I started to pray. And I don't know if Ole ever watched this movie called, um, prayer room or war room or whatever it is where the woman like she went crazy and she just started to cuss out the devil and she just started telling him you can't have my house you can't have my children you can't have nothing you can't have my marriage you can't have nothing connected to me it's like i just catch a fever like that and i just start praying and cussing my son now sit down watching me getting on like that like he was like we're going on with mommy but like it's after i do what i do it's then like i finally start to feel like a sense of calm in myself and i tell myself you know what don't leave my car down the road and depend on other people to fix it for me because it's not their own it's mine it's my responsibility let me you know put on my big girl panties and let me see about my thing for myself so tuesday i spent all day tuesday thinking about what i'm going to do and tuesday evening i decided to um talk to a proper mechanic 
Stone let nobody bring no mechanic for me go to somebody who other people just go to other people recommend me to this person recommend this person to me so i went to the person i talked to them and when i explain what's going on with the car and i explain everything to them they end up telling me well um they're not doing proper work they're just guessing because nobody didn't scan the car or nothing like that so they come and they tell me to bring it so i come and i get this was when this was tuesday evening wednesday now i call several tow truck places to find like a good price because i don't i don't spend all this money already and i get somewhere that um given a good price and i get the car towed down the road I think it was Saturday evening, I get a tow down the road and it by a mechanic and for the week now my son and I, well one of them gone down the road by his granny because the school is in two different directions, one going to the south, one going, one going to the north, the other one going to the south, I work in to the south so the plan was leave here at 6 o'clock in the morning, drop the little one which is Kimani drop him by my um, ex-mother-in-law she would have he would have sit down by his granny until his cousins and them ready to go to school his cousins and them would have walked down to school together and me and my other son the one who going to the south which is doing me and Dwayne would have drive down and I would have drop him off then I go on to work and when I finish work I'll pick up Dwayne and then I go and pick up Kimani and I come home it didn't happen like that so for this whole week he down the road me and Dwayne traveling and I have been trying to make the best out of a bad situation with everything but we are kind of settled now how I know my car down the road and it fixing the guy told me he will start working on it this evening because he had other vehicles to see about and how the car kind of well it fixing and everything you know in a in a order i kind of calm down a little bit i kind of find back myself a little bit of feeling a little good feeling better than how i was feeling and i'm back on track and i decide and i tell myself look i'm not going on allow nothing to stress me out that is turned out it was raining earlier and when well, the rain stopped now but we have a we still have a lot of showers so yeah it's it it frustrating it frustrating when things just happen all together at once sometimes when you don't set your life one way and you don't plan what you're going to do x y and z and then it don't go the way how you plan it's like one thing it's like a domino effect so i work as a caregiver looking after elderly people and then i do nails and here on the side um i try to write a book i have my youtube of course i have other little secret projects that i'm working on and everything needs to run smooth in my life like one if like if one thing fall off it's like everything else going and just be affected by it so for this whole week i just been stressing out because we going to school kind of fall off and it just kind of throw me out of it throw me out of the routine that i don't sit down and plan the way i plan everything so it's not that i'm not caring about my channel or that i don't want to upload videos or i don't want to make content it's that i lack motivation right now i lack the the groundedness to make content because like i say things not going right in my life my personal life and i just been kind of off regardless of being busy with work and everything and before i was busy the same way because before i used to have a lot of things to do the same way 
but just that I used to make the time from my channel but how I was just feeling stressed this past week I just I just been off I've been off I've been off I've been out and my mind was not in a good place but now I'm feeling better I'm back I know been a little bit stressed man because as Mr. TBJ say, the devil is not after you, he is after your territory. I know been a little devil come after the things that God trying to put into my life. So yes guys. Sorry about me not uploading for a few days. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for your patience. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. Be yourself. Nobody fear to you for yourself. What's important? How you see yourself? They won't see it till you see yourself. Can't get money.